Running a print-on-demand store is a lot like opening a store inside of the mall, right? People are walking by it. You want them to be able to know exactly what it is you sell by just walking by the store. So an example of this is let's say that you're going through the mall, right? And you see a kid's clothing store. Odds are that kid's clothing store is gonna have a lot of bright colors inside of it. And it's also gonna have probably a lot of neon stuff, a lot of kids' cartoons and stuff like that on the wall, right? If you were walking by a store that sold hunting equipment, odds are it would have a lot of camouflage, it would have outdoors uh, type of imagery around the store, and you'd be able to tell what it is that they sell, right? Uh, people don't do that with their digital brands a lot, right? They don't think about things like that. And through, these, through this series of reviewing uh, your stores, what I hope to do is point some of that out to you uh, and help you to understand what it takes to actually create an awesome looking print on demand store. So this is uh, yet another video in this series where I'm taking a look at stores that were submitted to me for review uh, inside of my Facebook group. So if you guys want to be featured in the next video like this, simply just go uh, to my Facebook group. Every single week I make a post asking people to submit uh, their URLs uh, and then I pick a few of them and review them on a video like this. So if you're not in my group, the link is down in the description and let's jump into some store reviews. All right guys, so this first store here is called angrygamergear.com. Uh, it says rage quitting since 1985. I do think that is pretty funny. You can see that right below their logo uh, right here. That would be definitely something that would resonate uh, with people inside of this niche. Uh, the biggest call out for me on this store is that it's just a little bit ugly. Uh, and if we scroll through here, you can see uh, that a lot of these headers here, they don't really look that great, right? Some of them are blurry, they're stretched a little bit. Uh, if I do, if I put this into a mobile view, uh, you can see uh, that it does look a lot better. Uh, and that's a big improvement. It definitely looks a lot better on mobile. So I think nice job there. I think the color scheme is a little bit weird, right? I talked in the intro about making sure that you have a really good color scheme on your store. You have light light purple uh, down here you have orange buttons and then a orange bar at the top I'm not sure if you picked those colors on purpose or not uh, but I just think it's a little bit bizarre uh, let's click into one of their collections here we'll click on shop for men I think uh, one thing here right this this uh, let me switch out of this mobile view here um, this mock-up I, do, I don't think is great uh, I think that choosing a mock-up like this which is uh, like someone who's riding a bike is probably not the best, right? This guy in this picture is probably not your target market. Uh, so I would say this is a really bad use of, of mock-ups. I think same thing here. This uh, this this mock-up here kind of looks like a mom, right? Uh, I'm not sure this is a great choice either. You can even see that there's another motorcycle uh, in the back here. Uh, so I'm not sure why that's there. Let me take a look at the at the design there's nothing on the design that has to do with motorcycles so i'm not sure what this motorcycle theme is that you have going on i also think that the product title is a little bit long uh, legendary weapon heavy blend with a tm uh, hooded sweatshirt custom front and back printed a little bit long a little bit wordy uh, i might have just called it legendary weapon hoodie right or legendary hoodie or something like that our second store here is called D&G Clothing and Design. Right off the bat, I think that domain name is not doing you any favors. It actually took me three times to be able to type it in uh, to my URL bar here. I would, if you're if you're going with this whole D&G uh, trend here for your store, maybe just call it dng.com if that's available. Uh, but D&G Clothing and Design is definitely uh, way too long. This does seem like a like a super general store. Uh, just looking at some of these header images here, it does look like they have some stuff for Australian veterans. They also have some kickboxing uh, products. It is kind of random, to be honest. It's a general store, so that's to be expected. Uh, but I think overall, you know, the D&G clothing and design is probably just throwing you off a little bit too much. Uh, we'll click into the men's kickboxing here and take a look. Uh, I think on the homepage, in terms of branding, you did a nice job with making sure that your mock-ups actually uh, featured people that were potentially your customers, right? A lot of these people here are actually kickboxing uh, in the photo, so this is a good thing. Uh, in terms of the um in terms of the product titles, I would just, you know, instead of writing men's t-shirt, and this is just me nitpicking a little bit, uh, sometimes I'm a little bit OCD with some of this stuff, I would just call this like kickboxer fight wear tee, 
right? Or something like that, a little bit shorter. Take a look at one of their product pages here. Uh, we'll switch it into a mobile only view uh, in a second. I love this uh, badge that you have right here, kickboxing fight wear. Uh, I think that's super cool. I don't like your fonts and your text here though, these colors. This almost reminds me of a website that was built you know, in the 1990s or something like that, like with this blue italic font. Uh, I don't love that. I think overall there's really no branding here uh, on the store. I'm also not 100% sure about the design, right? Kickboxing fight wear. Uh, this is, you know, you're, it almost seems like you're attempting to create some sort of a, some sort of a brand around this logo uh, in order to make someone buy your product. In my opinion, and, and you know, my success that I've had, uh, it has related to this. That you need to make sure that you create a design that actually uh, showcases some sort of a niche and shows some sort of an emotion. I think some of your other kickboxing products did a little bit better uh, at doing that. I think this product here uh, is super cool, but honestly, it sort of reminds me a little bit of a product that you would see uh, like inside of a Target or a Walmart, right? Uh, I'm not sure that if you ran Facebook ads or Instagram ads or any sort of paid traffic to this product that it would uh, actually do well. And at $29.95, uh, it's probably not a great option. Here is our third store. It's called nopromises.com. Uh, it says, welcome, no promises for tomorrow. If you can't live your best today, I'm so glad you are here. All of my apparel has no limits and is exclusive for everybody. Your purchase from No Promises Studios will help me to continue to raise money for my sister's college during this difficult time. So remember to live your best day and make no promises. Now, while that description is certainly heartfelt, I don't think it's necessary. I think that if you are running an Etsy store or something like that, you could put something like that on there. But when you're creating a Shopify store, in my opinion, you're creating a brand, right? You're creating a store that is going to be viewed by the customers as some sort of a brand. And by putting something like that on there, I feel like you're almost hurting your own uh, credibility, right? Uh, we'll kind of scroll through some of the products here uh, and take a look. I think um, it's pretty bland, honestly, the store. You know, this this flower here in the background doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Um, I like this up here, up top. Like, this has a little bit of style to it. You can kind of get a feel for what the brand is, right? Like this urban style uh, photo. It looks like someone that's sitting up on top of a roof or something like that. I like that, but this flower down here uh, is kind of throwing me off a little bit. I'm assuming that that is you, uh, mainly mainly just because I saw who posted this and it sort of looks like you, uh, but I'm, so, I'm assuming that's you and if it is, you know, great use of like making some sort of a testimonial to go here on the store. Um, let's take a look at one of these products. We'll just go to Evil Waffles face mask, mainly just because it's the first one on here. I think you got to do a little bit more here on the product page. I think that there's really no style here. There's really no branding, right? At the beginning of the video, I talked about making sure that when someone walks by your store, in, if you were in the mall, uh, that they would know exactly what type of store it is, right? And really all you have on here is a mock-up showing the product uh, and a little bit of a generic description here. Uh, and you know, it does represent some sort of a Twitch channel, it says. Uh, but again, I don't know that I don't know that you're actually accomplishing what you're trying to accomplish with what you have here on this product page. All right, our next store is called brag.fishing. That is the entire URL. Now, I actually know whose store this is. Uh, they submitted it, and I know that they do uh, pretty well on it, but honestly, I don't like the brag.fishing uh, domain. If, if it's doing well, then I guess I guess run with it, but I don't love that. I think your, your graphic here on the top is really, really amateurish. Uh, it does say custom hoodie with your own ride. Let's go check that out. I think that's definitely a cool idea where someone can upload a photo of their own uh, Jeep or truck or something like that to the, to the product. I'm clicking on this button here, but nothing is happening. So I'm not sure if you have something wrong on your store, um, but I'm clicking on this and nothing uh, is coming up. So I'm not sure either, either my internet is broken or the store is broken. Now I clicked that one and it did work. Um, I think, uh, I think, you know, honestly, you know, you I do know that you're doing well with this. Again, like I said, the person whose store this is, I know that they are making sales. Um, I think you could take it to the next level, man, by um, ordering a sample, right? Because these mock-ups, I, I don't like them. Um, they're just very basic. They're they're they got a, they have a white background. I don't think it really showcases the the product that well. It sort of looks fake. And and I know that you're doing well with this, but I would say, and I don't know if this is the actual product that you're doing well with. It seems like you have a whole bunch of stuff on here. Uh, but if you are trying to sell this product, I would order a sample of it just so you can actually take some better photos uh, or maybe experiment with some other print on demand apps that might have uh, some better mockups for you. Uh, but overall, in terms of the store, you know, I don't. 
I don't uh, dislike the logo uh, or anything like that. I think it's cool. I am a little bit in interested to know, you know, if we go back to the homepage here, it's called brag.fishing, but everything is like about Jeeps, right? I would have assumed that it was going to be about fishing. Uh, and I don't see any fishing things on here so far. I'm scrolling almost all the way down and I don't see any fishing at all. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not sure um, where that disconnect is, if this is some sort of a general store or something like that. Uh, but I know that you're doing well with this, so something is working, but maybe just take a couple of those tips and, and try to improve it. And here is our last store. I actually really like this store. I think they did a really nice job at making this look like a real brand, a real uh, online business. I think their logo up top is on point. Uh, I think a lot of their product images are really nice. I like how they created this right here uh, that says free shipping on orders over 150 uh, with the stars and stuff in the background. I think that looks really cool. Uh, we'll continue to scroll down. I think they also did a nice job about their mock-ups, right? A lot of their mock-ups on here, the people wearing the product actually look like their clientele, right? I could see people that, you know, these young women uh, and this young man buying something like that, right? A lot of times people, you saw it in the first store they choose mock-ups that have nothing to do with their niche right our first store that we looked at today uh, the person was selling video game stuff and the person that was wearing the hoodie uh, in their mock-up was an old man sitting on a motorcycle right I think this store did a really nice job with that I also think that a lot of your product titles are are pretty nice right I liked how you called this like tarot card the Empress uh, I think that, you know, instead of just writing like tarot card t-shirt, I think that doing something unique like that uh, is a nice touch. We'll take a look at uh, one of their products here. We'll just click into, you know, this. we'll do this one right here. Check out some of the branding that they have. Uh, I like it. I like the product image. I'm not sure, you know, how you're going to do profit wise with with t-shirts, right? T pricing them at $21. If you're going to use any sort of paid traffic, you know, odds are you might not be making that much money. Uh, I think that your product page it doesn't feel as good as your homepage, right? Your homepage had a ton of branding on it. Your product page is lacking a little bit. Maybe take a look at some of these product images and I know that you have a whole bunch of products on your store. So maybe you're not you know, going in and making sure that every product page looks good. But like I said, on your homepage, you, you had a lot of stuff, right? You had a lot of branding stuff. I'll go back to it and just show it. Uh, like you did a really nice job branding here and I didn't really get that same sense on your product page. Uh, you also have some digital downloads down here. I think that's cool. Uh, overall, you know, this store ha has an Instagram feed down on the bottom. Overall, I think this store looks great. I don't have any really critiques from like a design perspective of the store or the technical setup or anything like that. Overall, like I said, though, make sure that all of your branding translates to uh, your product pages as well. Uh, and I think, you know, overall, you did a nice job on the store.